South Africa has one of the highest rates of domestic abuse in the world, including rape of women and children. An issue the country battles to grapple with on a daily basis. It's against that backdrop that we commemorate Women's Day well, to highlight the plight of women, but also celebrate the success of those who've overcome adversity. Various Women's Day events were hosted across the country. One in five women have been beaten by a partner. These are the shocking statistics facing women in South Africa. It would seem physical abuse has become something an average woman experiences in their lives. But government and civil society are looking to change this. This year's women's theme, Be Bold for Change, hopes to start changing this growing trend of physical abuse against women. A call echoed by the leader of the African People's Convention. Women are the most exploited uh, at work. Uh, women are the ones who suffer the violence in society. We have seen uh, numerous cases of femicide. For women, more needs to be done to help empower them. The government must give all the women's rights because we don't have rights. All the men have the power over women. The Limpopo Premier lamented the state of affairs. Women should be independent. These women should be economically empowered to take whatever decisions, irrespective of whether the so-called breadwinner uh, goes to prison. In Kimberley, women took a stance against abuse. Since our women are, are being killed this, nowadays, I think something must be done. The women of 1956 stand up for us. Government empowerment programs were lauded. Solofe Loesi, a local businesswoman and mother of one, attributes her success to these programs. Women's place no longer in the kitchen, you know, but mainly in the way it will make a very huge impact, you know, job creation and creating sustainability and wealth for our people. ANC Women's League President Batabile Tlamini lashed out at abusers within the party ranks. Gauteng Premier David Makura called on police to separate politics from law and justice and act in the Manana case without fear or favor. It's not a political decision. That's a basic thing that the police must, must do. When women have reported cases, police must act on those cases. Manana has admitted to the assault and apologized. His apology, though, was rejected. I feel like it's not fair. He should be arrested like any other ordinary people. After all, we're all equal before the law. I think our government must do something about this thing. You understand? Don't beat up women. Addressing around 1,000 noon residents, EFF President Julius Malema encouraged the community to uplift and empower its women. Husbands, stop beating up your wives because you are teaching these children that when you have a problem with your partner, the solution is the beating up. Don't beat up women. Don't beat up your partners. Women issues are expected to be highlighted throughout the month as South Africa dedicates the month of August as Women's Month. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News.